Dating back over 3,000 years, the Mid-Autumn Festival is a cherished tradition in Chinese culture. Simultaneously, the Asian Games, featuring a captivating array of sports, is being held in Hangzhou, bringing together athletes from across Asia. Joining me today are Jawad from Pakistan and Amina from Mongolia, both of whom are currently studying in China. The three of us will be exploring a collection of intricate cultural relics centered around the Mid-Autumn Festival. Together, we will journey through millennia of history and gain insights into how ancient people commemorated this occasion. Hello everyone, my name is Amina, I'm from Mongolia. Currently, I'm studying at Tsinghua University Social Science Department, majoring in international politics. Hello everyone, I'm Jawad Shabir from Kashmir, Pakistan. I'm a PhD scholar at the School of Earth and Space Science Peking University. Our first stop is the Beijing Folk Custom Museum. Let's go! Hello 最老的一位兔爷了，是在中秋节这一天呢，那个要在这个集市上、庙市上，请回去之后给孩子玩的。Rabbit God, this is one of the intense cultural heritage here in Beijing. I have read in some historical books in the past in the battlefield, the strongest person in the army hold this flag to keep the morale high. So this was used in the battlefield. Is there any legend in your country? In our country, we have a legend is a horse. We have a legend that the Mongolian people have a legend that the Mongolian people have a legend that the Mongolian people have a 我们这只戒指,专门印上了两个字,中秋,既是一个戒指,又是一个印章。How beautifully they have engraved these Chinese characters on this one. At that time, there was no advanced technology. It's a love token. Really interesting. I also have this one. This is a wedding ring. Now, I'm convinced that this is the rarest piece in the world. It's very ancient. Now we are heading towards Tsinghua University Art Museum. Amina, you go to school here, right? Are you now fluent in Mandarin? Yes, I also really like to sing a Chinese song. Which one? 我的情也真, 月宫镜是非常典型的唐代的一枚铜镜。唐代因为开始盛行过中秋，出现了一种新的镜子的形式，就叫月宫镜。Dynasty is really powerful. The art, literature, and music, culture, and tradition is really famous. 这一件晚清到民国时期纳沙绣镜帘儿。他绣的这个图案讲的是苏小妹三男秦少游，浪漫的恋爱之后两个人要结婚了。洞房花烛夜的那天，刚好是月圆时节。你看那个月亮中间还绣了一个月字，就是在中秋佳节。月圆通常就
really romantic. The people's beautiful costume all expresses about that people's daily life and their characteristics at the moment. 中秋吃月饼通常都是在户外，啊，到月亮升起之后，一家人围坐在院子里边的小桌旁。会把月饼啊、水果啊、茶点啊都摆在桌上去赏月。They use this lacquer portable box to bring the food outside to enjoy a p p r e c i a t e d moon. 这个上面装饰着吉祥的花草，也反映这个主人雅致的这种生活。Ancient Chinese civilization shows that those people were art loving, so this is the reason that they have decorated all their domestic stuff. 这一只很大的。月饼馍已经是近百年的文物了，月饼越大，说明这个家族的人口多，势力大，吃大月饼有大福气。这一个月饼呢，寄托着人们求子啊、多子多福的这样一个美好的寓意。The Chinese history and culture is not only famous in China, it is also spread in Asian country. When I was eating first time mooncake, I think it's just a snack. But after that, I understood the long history and tradition. I realized that it symbolized the successful, happiness, wealth, good wishes. For sugar, in our local language, we use a word "chini," and "chini" is the same word we use for the Chinese people. It means the Chinese people、oh. are so sweet. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. After knowing the stories and uh, different uh, history about this mooncake, I would like to taste the sweet one. Yeah. <laughs> Right in oh, front of you. The moon and the earth. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> Sherry mooncakes are one of the hallmark traditions of this festival. Is there any food in your culture that represents family reunion? In Muslim community, Eid al-Fitr is at the end of the holy month of Ramadan. At that month, we keep fasting, and after that,、uh, we celebrate this event. We share gifts with our friends and the family members, and we enjoy sweet dishes. Fun.、Yeah. We have a Mongolian Lunar New Year. At this time, we often eat a board. It is stuffed with beef and mutton, and is flavored with onion and garlic. And this dish is also symbolize the family reunion. Wow, sounds so delicious! I want to try it sometime. This is my very first experience、uh, of Mid Autumn Festival in China. Having an opportunity to see different festivals from a new culture is a wonderful experience. The world is so beautiful when we appreciate and exchange cultures. It's interesting how even though we're from different parts of the world, we are one big family, and it's my pleasure to celebrate this special Mid Autumn Festival with both of you. And we wish you all a happy Mid Autumn Festival. 中秋节快乐 ！Bon appetit！